Greg. Hi, I'm Lavi. And I'm Ollie. And this is our hero, Bumblebee. Together, we are attempting a Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by, by motorcycle. motorcycle. Join us for season three here in South America. Bye bye beautiful camp, <laughs> most beautiful epic camp in the world. Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 258 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. And it's day two here in the Torres del Paine National Park in Chile where we are exploring with our friends Agnes and Glenn who are in the car behind us. And we camped last night at this little campsite here by this lake called Pehoe Camping with like the most epic crazy view of these beautiful mountains in front. <laughs> Man, it's so beautiful! It was a pretty cold and windy place but it's worth it to be close to these mountains. Today we're going to be making our way right here right into these mountains in front because we're going on a hike hiking day first we've got about 30 kilometers of dirt road to take us up close to these mountains and then we've got about uh, an eight hour hike yeah i think it's 11 miles but elevation from like i don't know uh, 900 meters up and then down and then across and yeah it will be <laughs> it will be a, a good hike <laughs> get the legs working again <laughs> <laughs> oh man look at this view amazing, wow eh? wow after our hike we'll be riding around the rest of this beautiful national park and we'll be going hunting for pumas in the afternoon so it's just going to be an epic day here in Chile I can't wait Are you going through the middle? Oh god, it's okay? <laughs> oh, I'm not sure I should have gone through the middle there. <sighs> but I, I don't know if I could have picked one of those lines. I don't know. It was a bit it was a bit dodgy. So this national park is named after these guys just up ahead. 
those are the Torres del Paine. I thought it was pronounced Paine for like the whole time, but actually I read last night that it's actually from the native Tehelke language and it's pronounced Paine. Paine means blue. So these are actually the blue mountains, the Paine mountains, and the Torres del Paine are the towers of the Paine mountains. Yeah, and this is where we're gonna hike to. There are three towers. Um, let me see if I can remember the names. It was uh, Torres de Agostini, Torres Central, and Torres mm, something like Manzano. Mm, I don't remember. <laughs> and this national park is home to Guanaco. We've seen Guanaco this morning, but also home to Pumas which we've been also looking out for this morning, but we haven't seen any so far. So it'd be awesome if we could see some pumas. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> that would be absolutely, absolutely amazing. So it's only a couple more miles up this road until we get to the parking. And then we're gonna switch from our motorcycle outfits to our hiking outfits. Bye bye Bumblebee. We see you in 10 hours. <laughs> The trail begins <laughs> up to the mountains. <laughs> Started the climb now. We've taken off all our layers already. It's a beautiful, beautiful sunny day today. Totally different to yesterday. So we are one hour into the hike now. We got quite up already and it's really, really beautiful. Epic views from up here. And you can see already how, how the trail is going here. Oh yes, that's some fresh mountain water right there. <laughs> Prost. There's a snack break. What are you having? <laughs> We've got cracker <laughs> with mayo. Why not, hey? Look at that. into the hike now and still exhausting <laughs> but I think we have probably another 30 minutes left and then we will have the views of our lives so we are all very excited Ooh. <laughs> about that down to the lake and now it's time for lunch everyone is excited to have some food <sighs> well guys say goodbye to Torres del Paine bye bye <laughs> oh sorry piney it's time to make our way back down time to get reunited with bumblebee 
Whoa! What are all these horses doing here? Wow! <laughs> Amazing! I don't think I've ever seen so many horses at once. We can finally see the end. Ah! Getting pretty tired now, I must admit. It's been, uh, what time is it? Five o'clock. Five o'clock? Yeah, so eight hours and 45 minutes. Oh, that's on the limit of a day hike, I tell you. <laughs> but here we are at the visitor center. I'm back with Bumblebee in a minute. Yeah, let's see if Bumblebee feels all right and everything is good. Oh yeah, Bumblebee would be fine. Bumblebee just rested and chilled the whole time. <laughs> Bumblebee, the trooper. Woo! Yeah. Ready to go. Oh yeah. Man, I am feeling it. We haven't done a long hike in such a long time, hey? Man, it was hard work. <laughs> <laughs> it was hard work, but then when you get round at the very top, when you just come up over that lake and you see all of the towers in front of you and it just, wow, that was just insane of you. Yeah, you forget all your pain when you have a view like that. Yeah. Now it was super super cool. I would definitely recommend it to everyone. Yeah, I mean that was pretty much the first uh, major hike we've been on since we started the trip. Normally we don't like to leave Bumblebee alone for that long. Yeah. But for those towers, oh my god, that was worth it. So now, before we leave the National Park, we're going on one last mission. And that is to hunt for some pumas. Ooh, where are you? <laughs> so apparently we were told by uh, the visitor center that the area that we're about to do now, we're going to do a little loop through this area, um, that this area is the most likely place that you can see pumas in the park. So we're going to do a bit of a slow loop through there and keep our eyes peeled because they also come out in the evening and it's 6 p.m. so conditions are perfect. Yes, let's spot some pumas. Pumas, where are you? Pumas! <laughs> so we're trying to take this nice and easy. Hope the bumblebee doesn't scare them away. Ooh. Keeping an eye out. Look, there's a waterfall on the left. Oh, there is a waterfall. Wow. Oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. That's like bigger than the largest waterfall in the whole of Uruguay, isn't it? <laughs> oh. Wow, that's super cool. Look at that. Very nice. Very nice. Tons of guanaco. The perfect prey. Come on, pumas. Yes, look, they're all here. Look, <laughs> here they are. Just come and get them. Should we go in between them and then pretend that we're falling and then laying on the ground and doing like this and oh, pretending, okay. pretending to be yeah, prey? Yeah, yeah. I see what you're going for. Uh huh. Oh, I hurt my leg and I'm a guanaco. <laughs> oh. well, we've got big, big, big views. But not of the puma kind. <laughs> the pumas that don't want to show them. Just hiding. Oh, they have tons of guanacos here. Again, here on the side of the road. Just over here. <laughs> Cute. Hello. 
<laughs> so unfortunately now we are back on the tarmac road leaving the Torres del Paine National Park without seeing a puma but we still saw some beautiful landscapes and I think we would have had to be super 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 duper lucky to see a puma as well so I think we can be happy with our exhausting hike can't we yes I totally loved it now we are just on the hunt not for pumas but for the for a free camp so yeah. we will just keep our eyes peeled on this road here should something come up yeah you're not allowed to camp actually in the national park so first we had to leave the national park before we're able to find a nice spot to pitch our tent for the night because tomorrow we will actually cross back into Argentina <laughs> <laughs> for like the fifth time I think yeah. <laughs> we've got some super cool places coming up on the Argentinian side of these Patagonian mountains so I cannot wait for that bye Amy and Glenn so those guys are heading off they've got to take their hire car back to Puerto Natales they're gonna stay in town for the night we're actually going to meet back up with them tomorrow in a different town called El Calafate uh, that's over the border in Argentina we still have to try and sort out our own accommodation for tonight and there's like this big road works in front of us so we really don't have too many options yet so we're just coming into a small village now called Cerro Castillo there's a couple of spots on the iOverlander listed in this little place we're actually very close now to the Chile Argentina border which is Paso Fronterizo Don Guillermo you have to go to the right here on right the roundabout here. oh no to the left sorry to the left oh, okay sorry <laughs> there doesn't seem to be like anybody here <laughs> I can't see like anyone so go the next row to the right to the right here I think it's this grass bit here this is like a bus stop in the yeah. town uh-huh okay and uh, you read that you can camp on the grass next to the bus stop I think so okay yeah I think that's what people say okay let's do it that'll be fine for me let's see where there might be some good wind protection let's find the best spot okay let's check it out we've had a little inspection around the bus station and we've chosen this little sheltered bit here so we've decided that this is our home for the night it's got some protection in case it rains it's pretty sheltered from the wind and there doesn't seem to be anybody here at the bus station you can see like papers on the table there people commented on iOverlander and said that they they put their motorbikes here and camp for the night and apparently it was absolutely fine so we'll give it a go Good evening guys, I just finished cooking and we're having some red lentils, some brown lentils, some sweet corn mixed in a tomato sauce with some curry powder, very nice. <laughs> That's kind of like an on the road tin can curry, that's what we'll call it. <laughs> so we pitched the tent here inside this bus station and uh, yeah I feel pretty sheltered so this is great and Bumblebee's just Bumblebee had a pretty relaxing day today, even though we are totally exhausted. Totally exhausted. Now it looks pretty promising that we have a good night here. Let's see and hope. 
Yeah, and then we'll be ready to cross the border over to Argentina tomorrow. So that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time.